Well, I'm very proud to stand before you today to launch the, Molly, the First Lady Molly Curry Educational Art Legacy Project. My Legacy Project is a community education program that features a survivor-inspired art installation, which we are here today to dedicate. My deep commitment to Rethreaded started about 10 years ago when I was gifted a gray scarf like this one by a special friend. Since then, I have become an advocate for ending human trafficking. As a mother of two young women, I believe that empowering women and girls to achieve their full potential is a universal responsibility of us all. While we have made progress in advancing resources to lift women up and out of the terrible cycle of human trafficking, sadly, more and more women still need our help to avoid being trafficked and to realize their full potential. I'm proud to have the privilege of serving as First Lady of Jacksonville and for this opportunity to highlight this important mission. As you can see behind me, we have been working on something very special and the beautiful gray scarf I am wearing today reflects the colors of this art. More importantly, it represents a journey of healing and a sense of power that comes from redeemed stories of those once affected by human trafficking. This scarf is a tangible representation of hope what is broken can be made new again. Like the gray scarf, this beautiful art installation tells an important story. Named Reclaiming the Light, A Survivor's Journey, the art details the path a survivor takes as they reclaim their light. The art was inspired by survivors' personal stories of healing that you can see detailed in their original artwork, which is right here by me. Each component of the art tells their story of moving from the darkness and into the light. And the art tour brochure, which we have around here, describes it in greater detail. The art represents a gateway to igniting the hope for survivors and serves as a resource to the community on how to help. So right now, I would like to introduce the artist who made this possible. The art was co-created by Nico and Kate and Kenny Rue of Rue Art. You guys want to stand up? <laughs> Working together, they transformed the actual images and voices of the survivors to create this beautiful mural and mosaic design that intersects with each other's to tell their story. So here's my call to action for everyone. This art serves as a beacon of hope for survivors and connects visitors to educational materials so they can become advocates for ending human trafficking also. I now challenge every individual and business in Jacksonville to take the pledge to learn how to spot and report human trafficking. I'm proud to announce that the city of Jacksonville, Jack's Chamber, and Visit Jacksonville have already committed to this challenge. Thank you to Lenny. Daniel Davis and Michael Corrigan for leading the way. So let's join the fight. Let's stand together to end human trafficking in Jacksonville. You can make the pledge today or you can go to Rethreaded's website to learn more about how you can become an advocate and sign up for the training. There are many people who have worked hard to ensure the success of this program, but there are a couple special thank yous I need to share. First, this would not have been possible without the generous donation of Dr. Francis Bartlett Kinney Estate. You all know Dr. Kinney's influence was immeasurable. With this gift, she will continue to change the lives of so many. And I also want to thank the survivors. Without Stephanie, Chris, and Shirley's willingness to share their story and serve as a beacon of hope for others, today would not have been possible. So thank you. And I would... And I also would like to thank a, a couple of people from the Office of the Mayor that have helped me with this project since its inception. Don Lockhart, Sarah Schmidt, and Sharon Conway. Also want to thank Ryan Ali for encouraging me to dream big when it came to this legacy project. And finally, I'd like to thank my husband, who has not only supported me with all my endeavors, but has been my biggest cheerleader. Thank you. So thank you all for coming today. This was round two. And I want to welcome you to tour the art and the campus. I also encourage you to revisit Rethreaded's webpage to learn more about how you can help. And now I'm going to have Kristen Keene come back up.
So I just want to say thank you, um, First Lady Molly Curry, on behalf of Rethreaded, our board of directors and staff, and for the women that haven't walked through our door yet, the women that are still in human trafficking in our city, that we are grateful to your leadership. Um, as we work together to remove the barriers for survivors of human trafficking so they can rebuild their lives. Your challenge to the community the, um, will change the lives of women and the educational art will become a destination for Jacksonville, allowing for all who entered the rethreaded Dolores Bar Weaver Campus of Hope to become an advocate for ending human trafficking. Um, and now Molly and I are going to open it up for questions. Visit the. So, like, how how would someone get rethreaded services? Yes, they're welcome to go to our website, and we have a list of services that's available, um, and they can call and email us. Yeah, they're going to they're going to commit to watching um, and to watching a video on ending human trafficking so that they can gain more knowledge on human trafficking, how to spot it how, and how to report it. Yes. It was quite a process. Um, we started when back in June. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. June with um, coming, the survivors and us and the artists all got together and um, just did like a brainstorming session, made these pieces of art to sort of tell their stories of, um, and then we got together with the artists and um, came up with a design, but it's been quite a process. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Kate. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> well, the sur survivor's journey starts just outside the gate, actually. The, we wanted to in, uh, include metaphors like the caged bird. So the first image that you see and symbol is the mirrored cage just before you enter the gate and you'll notice there's one bird uh, escaping that cage. And then as you come around, you encounter there's darkness and confusion and, and yet there's hope. There's the glimmer of stars and the light dawning and you encounter more birds because the women are not alone. And they encounter this community of women made of mirror. And that was intentional so that we could all put ourselves in that community of women and we could imagine ourselves there with them. And the bird theme continues throughout, taking you on the journey of increasing hope and love, you encounter the heart symbol and the bird, the very large golden bird, and the waves that were included in this survivor's artwork are undulating throughout. And then once they're surrounded by this community and given the grace and support and uh, the help they need to rebuild their lives, the full flourishing and beauty, the flowers just blooming, and the woman there represents every woman. She could be any, any of us, really. And she wears a gray scarf, which surrounds her neck and then flows back through the design. And there's even a little bird holding the end of one strand. And so that theme just continues throughout. And therein lies the message of our mosaic and painted mural. And thank you to Nico. Nico Holderbaum is who did the painting. 
and she was a pleasure to work with. And you can see how we tried really hard to meld the colors and lines together. And I encourage you to look for all the little tidbits in there. There are words, positive affirmation words, that are hidden in the women. Uh, and those words were compiled by the survivors during our art visioning session. And there are many little hearts throughout the design. And uh, it's kind of fun to count the hearts and find the birds and just get involved in the journey. Thank you. And it's really cool because we got to go to this. It's way more complex to build this thing than she ever gets credit for it. But we got to go and actually participate in building some of the panels together, like six at a time. And it was cool to be part of actually building the artwork. It was really fun. I think we knew we wanted to do both the mosaic and the mural, and then with their help, they decided how to integrate both of those into the artwork. Thank you. Thank you so much.